I'm a real estate investor and have been since 2013. Me and my wife, Maylee, invest around the country and have built up a multi-million dollar rental portfolio. And I'm excited to share with you my knowledge on how to acquire and cash flow rental properties. Hello and welcome to this class on investment rental properties. My name's Mitch Nelson. I'm a real estate investor and have been since 2013. I'm a best-selling author, a real estate YouTuber, and a real estate coach and mentor since 2015. My goal is to help you understand the rental investment strategy and its benefits, as well as how to purchase property. I wanna help you understand how to fund these rental properties and identify cash flow variables and obstacles along the way. I want you to understand how to use the purchase contract and understand the title process. We're gonna be going over how to properly analyze a rental property and its potential, including understanding the closing statement and the closing process. I want you to understand the legalities of owning rental real estate and the screening process and its importance. We're also gonna be talking about dealing with rents and tenant notices, and I'd like you to understand what repairs must be made and by whom. Now, some rental properties are fantastic long-term rentals. This is your run-of-the-mill traditional long-term rental strategy where you put a tenant in there for maybe a two or three year lease and hopefully they stay there for 30 years. We're gonna be talking about that long-term strategy specifically in this class, but we're also gonna point out some of the other newer strategies like the short-term rental strategy or vacation rental strategy. Now, why is this important? Well, the answer is because cash flow can vary based on the property and the situation. So I want you to be able to make the best decision possible on your business model once you've acquired these rental properties. We're also gonna be going into how to make that decision once you've acquired the rental property in your analysis phase, deciding whether it's going to be a long-term rental or a short-term rental. We're gonna be going over the various unit types that are included in rental real estate, such as single family residences, which includes houses, condos, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes. We're gonna be talking about multifamily rental properties, which includes apartments, co-ops and shares and many other things. We're gonna be talking a little bit about commercial properties, office space, retail, warehouse space, as well as many, many other types of properties we're gonna be going into throughout this course. We're also gonna dive deeply into the Deal Spotter system. This is a system that I have designed to help you streamline your process of generating property leads, analyzing them, making offers on them, and ultimately acquiring cash flowing rental properties. This is a five step system with four filters. It starts with lead generation. I'm gonna teach you where to go look for these properties. Then the first filter is seller desire. You're gonna reach out to the owners and see if they're interested in selling the property. The second step, is quick analysis. This is where we run the numbers to make sure that it's going to work. Real estate investing is all about the numbers. So at this point, once we have our numbers together, the second filter is mortgage check. We're gonna find out if the homeowners can even sell us their property for the number that we need to buy it for. At that point, if it passes the second filter, we're gonna go into step three, where we make an offer on the property. Now, once we make an offer, the third filter is the seller decides. They get to decide if they're going to sell you their property for the terms and price that you outlined in your offer. Step four is long analysis. This is where we bring in our contractors, our home inspectors, to make sure that this property is exactly what we think it's going to be. Filter number four is you decide. After you've done your due diligence on the property, you get to decide whether this is a property that you're going to acquire or not. If it passes this filter, then we go into follow through, we acquire it as a rental property and we add it to the portfolio. Now, one of the things that I want you to remember throughout this course, as we're going through the process of acquiring and managing rental properties, I want you to remember that real estate is the ideal investment. Now, ideal is an acronym. A lot of people forget that there are multiple ways to make money on rental properties. They just are focused on the cash flow. And if you're only looking at cash flow, well, usually rental properties aren't that great of an investment. But if we look at the whole picture, then we start to realize that rental real estate is an amazing investment. So as the ideal investment, the I stands for income, which is your cash flow, your monthly income from having tenants in your rental properties. D stands for deductions. In my opinion, there's no greater tax shelter than rental real estate. Now, one of the things that's important to remember is that real estate also builds equity. As you're paying that mortgage, as your tenants are paying your rent and you're using some of that money to pay down that mortgage, you're building equity in that property. That equity is something that you can cash out in the long run in the form of a refinance or a sale of the property. Now also, real estate appreciates. 
over time, you're gonna see the value increase in your rental property, therefore making you money along the way. The L in ideal stands for leverage. As part of this strategy, you can use the equity and appreciation that you build over the course of years of owning rental real estate to go out and buy even more real estate. Rental real estate is the ideal investment. We're also gonna dive deeply into the exit strategies that you can use along the way. Always plan backwards, start with the end in mind. What is your end goal? How long will you rent it for? Are we talking about a single family property? Are we talking about part of your portfolio? Or are we talking about the entire portfolio? You should have goals for all of those things. We're gonna focus on maintenance cycle. Now, a rental property is great when you can purchase it, collect the rents and not have many repairs along the way. But it starts to kind of become a zero sum game if you're holding it for 15 years and you have to replace a roof and you have to replace a furnace and an air conditioner. We want to avoid these things. So we're going to talk about how to strategically manage that maintenance cycle. We're also going to be talking about the sale and potential refinance of your rental properties as part of your overall strategy. This concludes the introduction module for investment rental properties. We'll see you in the next module. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. If you want to learn even more about this topic, hop on a free one on one strategy call with us. All you have to do is visit flippin.education to book your call today. That's flippin.education. Hope to see you there. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.